Mistake number two is trying to do this technique against somebody who's like in a bent over posture. Maybe, especially in the, the old days when you could do uh, pickups, you would see people in a square stance bent over like this, basically creating a nice big target for you to attack in for them ready to come uh, take you over. But you've got techniques like um, Uchimata Gaeshi and stuff like that where you can still you can still take control of the throw. So you're against somebody and they're, yeah, they're either like this, they might even be in stance, okay? They might even be in stance, head up a tiny bit for me, yeah. Yeah, that's it. But from here, there's just too much distance to travel. So when you're coming, if you look from here, I can feel that tension, I'm turning, and as soon as I turn, I'm off balance. There's too much distance for me to cover, okay? I'm here, maybe I'm even trying to pull, and I'm trying to turn. If you want to fight against somebody who's like this and you really want to do your each mark, there's a couple of things that you need to do. The first one is if they are quite defensive, is put your pressure through your hands. Okay, so once I've got my grip, is actually put exaggerate that, make them feel like they're always going back. Okay? So when I'm in here, my partner's lower than me. Okay, so my hands are going like a 45 degree angle pushing down and I'm just keeping my weight in my partner and they can feel that that's coming down. If they don't correct themselves, then it might be like a little coast so something on the back leg to, to put that pressure on. But that's where I'd be, I'd be here applying pressure and I'd be waiting for them to come back up, okay? If they're in a square stance, and this, this one, you would just literally hang on their neck because it's not good to be in a square stance. If they're here like this, okay, and I've definitely seen this at lower levels, you just hang down on their leg like this, and you hang and you hang and you put your weight through because they'll have to come up, and as they come up, that's when you can come in for a nice, <laughs> nice out of there. But your entries will change as well. If there's too much distance between you and your partner, trying to do a traditional turn into each mile, once again, you're never going to get there. So from here, if there's too much, yeah, sorry, still square, you're looking for a more direct entry to that far leg. Okay, you definitely don't want to be here like this and off balance. Okay, so number two is the distance between you and your partner.